today we are at Rajakat in the state of Kerala to learn more about one of the greatest initiatives of the Lions for the people who are affected by the floods here. Multiple District 318 Kerala Flooding Homes Reconstruction Project. In 2018, monsoons in Kerala brought catastrophic rain and the worst flooding in 100 years. Rising waters rushed through communities, destroying everything on its path including the peaceful way of life of more than 1 million people. Kerala, God's own country, is an exotic place which offers peace and harmony. But as the universal truth, all that exists has a dual aspect. Despite offering prosperity, Kerala has also been a witness to rough days. In 2018, the monsoons in Kerala brought catastrophic rains and the worst flooding in 100 years. Rising water crushed through communities, destroying everything in its path, including the peaceful way of life for more than 1 million people. Today, we are at Rajakkad in the state of Kerala to learn more about one of the greatest initiatives by Lions to help the people who were affected by the floods of here. Lions Homes Reconstruction Project, District 318C, Rajakkar. Floods in Kerala brought destruction all over the state and affected many lives. Roads collapsed under the weight of the water. Coconut trees uprooted from saturated soil and homes became fully submerged. Nearly 500 people lost their lives and more than 16,000 homes were destroyed. Lions in Kerala, almost 25,000 in number, strong and determined, quickly mobilized to help their neighbors with support from the Lions Club International Foundation. Within days after the flooding, LCIF awarded a 100,000 US dollars major catastrophe grant to rebuild homes in the Lions communities. All of us sprang into action to help the people who were suffering from the floods and landslides, said past International Director Ratan Swami Murugan, Grant Administrator. Creating an even larger impact on recovery, families throughout the state of Kerala, which spans more than 310 miles, moved into the homes throughout the region in the last two years. After the flooding, the Manapuram Foundation wanted to help our community rebuild and we decided to join efforts with LCIF to help more families. What are your strategies to pursue donors to come forward and be part of your great initiatives? Manapuram is uh, uh, con constructing 21 houses in Valapad Panchayat. We are selecting, each uh, Panchayat member can select the most deserving uh, family in their ward and we will construct a house for them. Then we are uh, reconstructing a Turkey colony. Uh, all the houses we are constructing, reconstructing, rebuilding. So, so many works uh, and uh, Lions joint projects. In the, all the five districts, Lions uh, Manapuram have uh, joint projects. This year, Trivane uh, Sea, this district got 45 houses joint projects with uh, Lions and Manapuram. Lions Club of Rajakad as well as the LCIF. Uh, that uh, you know, building houses, eight houses uh, for poor, eight poor families in the Rajakad. This is the first time I have been here. I have been here for a long time. 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 LCIFM, Rajakad Lens Club Association, Jarnal Vida Vermichanalgi. Every home displays a lion's emblem and these will remain to be a permanent testimony of Lions Club members and the services rendered by Lions in the state of Kerala. 
the partnership between LCIF and Mannapuram Foundation built a sustainable future for Kerala families who now live in their own respective homes. There are many similar families whose lives have been impacted by the 2018 floods but are now grateful to the LCIF and Mannapuram Foundation for their home constructions which has set back their lives in the normal track. With Mannapuram's support, 30 homes were built. The Lions throughout the region also rebuilt 102 homes after the devastation from 2018 till 2020. There is no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. The ones who find this purpose of life are globally referred to as the Lions. Their valiant and generous members have once again proved that when we give cheerfully and accept gratefully, everyone is blessed. We sincerely invite the general public to join our cause today so that tomorrow we shall be the cause for someone's happiness. What were the challenges you had to face during this project? The first challenge we had to take was um, to find the correct beneficiaries, the right beneficiaries because a lot of families were affected in the flats and uh, we had to provide shelters for eight people so we have to select eight from many of many hundreds of people who have lost their houses. So first we contacted the local body here, the government local body and uh, they gave us the uh, list of uh, uh, beneficiaries that we have to help. So we found eight from them. Then the next challenge was to find a place because most of them have lost their property also, land also in the floods. So we all members, the 28 members of Lions Club of Ajak are contributed and we bought a land here. And uh, that was the second challenge, we have to raise money. Then LCAF and uh, Manapuram Foundation helped us, the money needed for uh, this. The time of uh, constructing was, as we know, uh, during the COVID pandemic. It affected the construction of the building. It took over two years. The material cost increased tremendously and that affected the completion of the work. But all the lines in my club, Lions Club of Rajakad, uh, wholeheartedly supported us. We all contributed and uh, uh, thus it was possible. It's not enough to have lived. We should be determined to live for something. Lions round the world believes for upliftment of mankind for better. We appeal to all to come forward and join hands in the inspiring initiative of the Lions.